Dong just delivered one of the sickest performances in recent years. The last time we saw something like this was when Monacy joined G2. Dong's play at the latest IEM Catavis tournament was just unreal. Now the whole of YouTube, Twitter and Reddit can't stop talking about him. People are already predicting he will hit top 1 in the HLTV rankings, since no one's posted stats like this in ages. Whether he'll become the next simple or not, only time will tell. Today I'm gonna show you his graphic settings, mouse, sound and Nvidia tweaks. But before we dive into the video, I gotta ask you to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out any epic videos, cause 98% of you watching my videos without subscribing. And make sure you'll watch till the end so you don't miss any crucial settings. Let's start by diving into his gear and settings. He's rocking a Logitech G Pro X Superlight in Magenta, the same as mouse Simple uses. As for sensitivity, he's got it set for 800 dpi, which is quite unusual compared to other pro players, with an in-game sensitivity of 1.25 and a zoom sensitivity of 1. For headphones, he's using the HyperX Cloud 2, an older model but one that's proven it's worth over time. And here are his sound settings in the game. EQ Profile Nitro. This preset doesn't alter the sounds, meaning they reach you and process it. Left and right isolation, 0%. This provides a strong sense of left versus right. Perspective correction, yes. Sound emitters at the edge of your field of view will sound strongly panned to either left or right, respectively. Donk uses a fairly standard resolution to 1280 to 960, which is also used by simple Monacy device and Zaiwu, making it a classic choice among players. His monitor, familiar to all professional players, is a Zoe XL 2566K, which can support a refresh rate up to 360Hz. However, he opts to 240Hz to avoid any discrepancies between playing at home and at tournaments, and he sets his brightness to 102%. Boost player contrast enabled. This setting adds a black outline around models, making them easier to spot at long distances or in dark areas on the map. Vertical sync is off. This is because vertical sync locks your FPS to your monitor's refresh rate, meaning if it's on and your monitor on 60Hz, then your FPS won't go above 60. Multi-sampling anti-aliasing mode edX MSA8. This makes the image more pleasing to the eye and smoother, preventing the game from feeling too harsh. Global shadow quality high. This setting is crucial because shadows now respond to any light source, allowing you to spot opponents before they come into full view. Model and texture detail, low, affects only the quality of textures, which doesn't provide a gameplay advantage but can improve the visual aspect of the game. Texture filtering mode, trilinear, similar to the previous setting, it only affects the quality of textures. Shadow detail, low, simply put, this improves the quality of effect, like the fire from a model or grenade. Particle detail, low, since it doesn't offer a visual advantage, we keep the setting low to say on FPS. Ambient occlusion disabled. In simple terms, this shading model adds realism to the image by calculating the intensity of light. High dynamic range quality controls the brightness range between the brightest and the darkest pixels. Fidelity FX super resolution disabled. Highest quality. Nvidia reflex low latency disabled. Uses to reduce system latency, improving PC reaction speed. The boost mode activates method that can draw more power to the GPU and slightly affect FPS to minimize latency. When it comes to Nvidia settings, Donk sticks with the factory setting to 140Hz and sets digital vibrance to 50%. The only thing he tweaks in the adjust desktop size and position settings where he sets. Scaling mode to full screen. Perform scaling on GPU and checks the box to override the scaling mode set by games and programs. Moving on on crosshair settings, which like for many often change, but at last tournament he uses these settings. Crosshair color 1, style 4, size 1, thickness 0, gap minus 4, and dot is 0. This is how it looks at game. I'll leave the code for this crosshair in the video description. His hand settings are pretty standard, as we've all come to expect. I've covered this in more detail in one of my previous videos, where I discussed drop settings. 
So if you're curious about my professionals prefer this particular view model, you can check out the video by clicking on the hint in the top right corner. But I will remind you on the settings anyway. View model field of view 68. View model offset x 2.5. View model offset y 0. And view model offset z minus 1.5. View model preset pose 3. The last thing you might find useful in his settings is his radar setup. Radar centers the player, yes. Radar is rotating, yes. Radar head size, 1. Radar map zoom, 0.7. And toggle shape with scoreboard, yes. These are the settings Donk uses. In summary, he does everything to maximize game optimization for the smoothest gameplay possible, turning off any features that could potentially disrupt his play. Remember, copying his settings won't make you play like him, because it's important to tailor your game settings to your own preferences. This video is just to help you find some useful settings and understand general trends. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe to the channel for more interesting content. See you soon, bye bye!